California, of course, takes wildfires seriously year-round at this point, and you've heard about the importance of prevention. But the Bay Area Council just finished this new study to see how the prevention and insurance costs go hand in hand. Yeah, they focused on the town of Paradise, where the campfire devastated the area back in 2018. Cronfors Rob Nesbitt joins us now live in the studio with the findings and how the town is uh, reacting tonight. Rob? Yeah, they focused on this town, of course, because how hard they were hit in 2018. The Bay Area Council has an initiative called the California Resilience Challenge, where they focus on towns like Paradise, small communities with limited resources to fight the worst of wildfires. The town of Paradise will never forget the 2018 campfire that killed 85 people and destroyed more than 18,000 homes. It's why the town was chosen by the Bay Area Council to figure out how to reduce wildfire risks, according to Senior Vice President of Public Policy, Adrian Covert. What if you did the home hardening and on top of that you did the buffer zones surrounding the community and within the community itself? What's the full aggregate level of risk reduction we could get. The study found that if homeowners took measures like clearing vegetation, they could reduce their risk of wildfire losses by 75%, but the homeowner is just a piece of the puzzle. Covert says towns like Paradise also have to play a role by creating open space buffer zones such as parks and playgrounds. They're well aware of the findings and the city is looking to implement wildfire informed development patterns. That's what we're calling it to reduce the risk. According to Covert, wildfire prevention is not just a life-saving measure, but also a cost savings, reducing insurance premiums by 55%. Kevin Phillips was the town manager while the study was being done by the Bay Area Council. He says Paradise is still rebuilding after the campfire, incorporating the study's findings into the plans. It's showing that with proper management, people can live within the foothills of, of the Sierras and in these wooey areas that are, that are prone to these fires that you can actually mitigate against the damage associated with that. Phillips says fire prevention measures are not just optional for homeowners in paradise, but are actually required and now a part of the town's building codes. Live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.